Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. I say it's all right. Hello. Just a quick update um, about EDS. I've been doing very well lately. Um, I've had to wear my braces much more often than not, which has been extremely hard. But um, I'm kind of settling into that point now where I understand that this is going to be a long-term set of solutions, that surgery is not a viable option, um, and that if I'm going to make any changes to my life, now's the time to do it. So uh, I've been working on getting lots of protein in and um, eating healthier, walking more, things that I tried to do all along, but every so often you get a particular injury and it's a setback because it's like for two months every single day, uh, you know, am I going to be walking? Am I going to be able to get all my steps in? Am I going to go as far as I want to? And invariably for that time period, the answer is no, until after a few days you wake up without the same incredible pain and uh, realize that you're doing okay and then you just start back up again. So I'm on the upswing from kind of a, a fair bit of downtime, but uh, that's that's the cycle. It's kind of the way it goes. Um, it'd be easier if it were predictable, but since it isn't, I have to be adaptable. You know, I do what I have to. The good news is that in the meantime, uh, while I've been dealing with my health, I've been focusing a lot on school, which has gone extremely well for me. Um, my hands are starting to really give me trouble. Well, they, they have been all my life, but um, it's finally to the point where I'm going to need to start using the speech skills that I've developed through YouTube videos to do my homework. And I think what I'll try to do in the future is maybe do an assignment or two with a video rather than a write-up and see how it goes. Uh, that won't be a replacement for writing papers, so I'm going to have to look into other solutions, but they're out there, so I'm not worried about it right now. Thank God. Um, other good news, Julie and I are married. We were married on April 5th, and we had the time of our lives. It was the most perfect day ever. Uh, the, the, the strangest thing is... She sort of italicized the vow in sickness and in health because she wanted me to know at that very moment that she was making a lifetime promise to be there for me. And that meant a whole lot to me. And for all of the people suffering with any chronic illness, uh, well, whether you're suffering or whether you're managing it very well, I wish for you that kind of support because it helps me get as far as I've gone. Um... That said, my sister made a comment. We actually had a, a newspaper, or I'm sorry, a magazine cover our wedding. And my sister said, just leave the EDS at home. And I said, okay, I'll bring my typhoid instead. Uh, and I, I told Julie, because it, it did upset me, but it's it's my sister's way of coping. I'm not worried about it right now. I have other fish to pry. Um... But I brought it to Julie's attention, and she said, even if you're wearing every single brace that you own and you're in your wheelchair, I'm still going to marry you, and I'm still going to be happy to do it. That's what support sounds like. <laughs> um, I'm missing Julie a lot right now. I'm at my mother's house down in Tampa, and I'm enjoying it a great deal. It's it's really beautiful, and uh, we've had a great time, and there's, you know, luckily there's air conditioning. I don't know if you can see that I don't take well to heat, <laughs> um, but it, it's been a great time, and we've just had a lot of fun and played with computers and cooked and cleaned and done little projects here and there, um, and I've needed the break. And as soon as I got here for a week-long vacation, I got sick, which is why I'm not bothering with lights and fancy fanfare and 
angles and the script and a point and just kind of checking in. Um, but my mother has also been extremely supportive since I got my diagnosis. And that's hard for my family because we're not bred for support. <laughs> um, but her being able to talk about it and listening to her explain it to friends is really something because I see her making those efforts and more than having someone understand it is having someone accept it. Um, which, you know, there are certain aspects of my life where having somebody accept me is not as important as having them at least understand, even if they disagree. In certain aspects of my life, I really need that kind of acceptance and support because I just need to not fight people on it right now. I've got other fish to fry. So that looks like a fake foot but that's that's my foot. It's just all about perspective, I guess. Hello. <laughs> um, this is kind of a goofy video, I guess. It's probably the Nyquil. I should call it a night. Um, but anyway, I'm doing very well, and have been since for a while. It's just nice to be doing well, and I thought I'd share that with you, because I want to set the example of what it looks like to be well even when I'm sick. Um, I would love to hear from other EDSers about what your good days are like, how you get how you get yourself attached to a good day and a good feeling so that you can get through the life cycle with EDS. Um, I wish you all the best and I thank you again so much for all of your comments and emails and checking in a really very inspirational group and if I had to have some sort of weird rare underdiagnosed genetic disorder however you want to call it uh, it's the EDS group that I'd want to be around I'm really impressed with how everybody keeps together and helps everybody keep a positive attitude uh, in the future I hope to talk about um, getting along with doctors learning to communicate with your physicians what's easy for you and what's hard. Uh, some new research has come out which is uh, very helpful. I think you're all going to be very impressed when you read it. It's not by me. Uh, I'm just going to relay the title and I'll let you find it, but we'll do that in the future. If you feel like writing in or leaving a comment, I would love that with something about your experience with doctors, whether it's been positive or negative, what you learned from it, how you dealt with it, um, and if your doctor was on your side, how your doctor handled it. So, okay, that's enough for now. Take care. Bye. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter.